Welcome to the Brightlink installation guide video. Before installing a touch-enabled Brightlink projector with a whiteboard, you must survey the board to determine if the board surface is flat enough to support the touch function. There cannot be more than 5 mm of curvature to the horizontal or vertical board surface. You can test this by using a straight edge to the board surface and looking for gaps between the straight edge and the board surface. First check horizontally. Next, check vertically. If the gaps are greater than 5 mm, you should install a new board to use with your touch-enabled Brightlink projector or use a pen-based model of Brightlink. The touch function will not work on a board with more than 5 mm of curve to the surface. Your touch-enabled Brightlink model comes with an external module or finger touch unit for finger touch interactivity. This module can be mounted above or directly on the board. The placement of the finger touch module affects the size of the projected image. Installing above the board will allow you to maximize the image size, which is ideal. However, not all boards will allow for the touch module to be installed above the board. In order to mount the finger touch unit above the board, the board cannot have a frame thicker than 3 mm. In cases where the frame is thicker than 3 mm, the touch unit must be attached directly to the board. A frame thicker than 3 mm will block the laser light being emitted by the touch module disabling the touch function. If the frame of the board is more than 3 mm and you are mounting the touch module directly on the board, the projected image will start approximately 5 inches below the top frame of the board. This is an important detail as you now must determine the actual image size you can achieve with this board, which in turn will determine the position of the wall mount relative to the board. If your board meets the requirements for mounting the touch module above the board, your image will start directly below the top frame of the board. With this in mind, determine the maximum image size you can fit on the board, as this will determine where to install the wall mount relative to the top of the projected image. The key thing to know is that if the touch unit will be installed on the board, the wall mount will mount approximately 5 inches lower on the wall than an install where the touch module is above the board. 